Okay, we're at uh, 129 uh, View Avenue, uh, View Street, I'm sorry, in Oakmont, PA. And this is a great uh, three bed, one bath, uh, fixer upper, could be a great rental, uh, definitely a good flipper here in uh, wonderful Oakmont, PA, which is really hard to find deals here. As you can see, the outside's not in bad condition, but we do recommend maybe doing some siding on the outside. Uh, the roof looks pretty good. There is one small area that we could see earlier uh, that may need patched up uh, near the chimney on the other side closest to the other house. But other than that, it's a uh, you know, pretty solid house here. Uh, looks like most of the windows have been updated with replacements at some point. Uh, maybe a couple there right by the front door that you still may want to do. Uh, but the street itself looks great. Nice homes, well-kept area. Uh, as always, Oakmont is a nice area for flips and or rentals. And our price on this one is uh, $27.9. Uh, so let's go inside and check out the inside and we'll talk a little about some of the work that's needed in there. Okay, here we are inside of uh, 129 View Street. And uh, when you walk to the front door, there's a nice little sort of entryway foyer area with some steps going upstairs. And then uh, to your right is a really nice size uh, living room. And as you can see in this house, it just hasn't been updated in quite a while. So we're recommending uh, all new flooring treatments, uh, obviously paint, any minor patching in the plaster and drywall. But you do have a nice decorative fireplace here. Uh, lots of natural light coming in through the front door. Um, ceilings and the plaster look in pretty good shape overall. Some small cracks here and there, but nothing uh, too major as far as holes or anything like that in the walls. Uh, we're going to continue from the living room now into the dining room. And again, this is a nice size room, probably uh, you know 14 by 14, 15 by 15, something like that. And uh, there's a little built-in uh, sort of pantry here or a buffet type area. And again, the windows look like they've all been updated, as you can see. Uh, newer vinyl style replacement windows probably within the last five or ten years or so at least. So those look like they're in good shape. So that's a, a cost savings for you. And there's a nice little look through here into the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen probably could use a good update. Uh, these cabinets are a little bit older. Uh, the lights are off right now so it's a little harder to see. Uh, but uh, you know, a quick kitchen update with a floor and such would uh, really make the space uh, very nice and usable for a flip or a good rental. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, walk upstairs and check out the bedrooms. As I said, there are uh, three full-size bedrooms here. And so let's continue up. Get a nice fresh paint job in here would do wonders. Along with some new carpeting maybe going the, up the stairs and into the bedrooms. Here's the first bedroom. Uh, this one also has a nice decorative fireplace. Decent sized rooms. They're probably all about uh, 12 by 13s or so. 12 by 12s. Um, this one has a nice decorative fireplace similar to the one below. Uh, so that looks real nice. And they all have ample closet space for an older home, which is uh, great for tenants and or flips. So that's the first bedroom. And the other two are very similar. This one's maybe a little smaller, maybe a, a 10 by 10 or so. Again, this also has replacement windows up here as well. Decent sized closet for you. And then finally the third bedroom. Uh, very similar. This one uh, maybe just a, a little bit uh, larger. Again, maybe about a 13 by 13 or so. Um, also with a nice closet as well. So again, paint, flooring, uh, a lot of sort of cosmetic updates uh, for these areas would, would really do a, a nice job for this type of property. Now into the bathroom. Um, you know, if you're going to do a, a rental property, we'd suggest maybe changing out the tub surround, re maybe some plumbing fixtures. Uh, perhaps a nicer vanity uh, as well in here and the light fixtures uh, updating the floor. For a flip you probably want to put a whole new tub and surround in uh, and just redo the floors and everything. Really make it uh, stand out nice in here with some ceramic tile and such. But you know all the, uh, the plumbing looks to be intact in this house. We haven't seen any missing copper or anything like that. So it's mostly again just the cosmetic type updates which are uh, pretty easy to do. Um, as we head back downstairs here um, I do want to mention that it does look like there is some uh, possibilities for off-street parking in the back. And we're going to go back in the back right now and check out the rear of the house uh, before we finish up and you can see where that is. Okay, we're going to go walk around the side of the house here down to the backyard. Uh, these steps are a little rough back here. You may want to give them a little attention, uh, especially on a, a flipper or a rental just for safety reasons. But we're going to continue to the back here. And in the back there's just a couple things to note. Uh, there's a sort of a rear porch area. Uh, off the uh, the uh, ground unit of the property and they have an old uh, sort of deck here which should be replaced uh, it's in pretty bad shape but it's pretty small it's only about uh, you know uh, maybe 10 by 12 8 by 12 uh, where you see the uh, the plywood there looks like they had a sliding glass door and again if you put some 
uh, siding on this house, put the new sliding glass door in and fix that little deck there. Again, everything on the exterior would really look great. Um, decent sized backyard. Uh, it is sloping, but a uh, decent amount of room here for, for tenants or uh, for as you're, if you're flipping, if there, uh, people have children or whatnot. Now behind this fence, we're going to take a walk down. It looks like there used to be a garage back here, so there's sort of a cement padded area. It's a little bit hard to see on the camera here. Uh, but there is a, a sort of a, a parking spot here for at least two cars, maybe three small cars. Uh, if it was cleaned out and sort of directly across, across next to that other garage, you could probably put a set of steps as well to get up to the uh, rear yard. It looks like there may have been an old set of steps here in the past. So if you're considering flipping, uh, that would be a nice asset uh, for this property. Um, the, uh, the basement looked uh, pretty good. Uh, again, the mechanicals were all intact. Uh, we didn't see any missing copper or anything. Uh, the furnace looked updated within the last 10 years. And the H2O tank looked to be in pretty good shape. It's a little bit dark down there for my camera, so I'm not going to film that. But uh, please uh, let us know if you'd like to see this, and we'd be happy to show you around the property personally. Uh, the best way to reach us is info at pitdeals.com. That's P-I-T-T -T deals.com. And uh, we can schedule a personal showing for you. Again, the price is $27.9, and we feel the ARV after repair value, after repairs and everything's done, uh, right around the seventy-five dollars to $80,000 range pretty easily. So please give us an email, uh, info at pitdeals.com, and we'll be happy to give you some more information and give you a personal tour.